actually make drug products from petrochemicals. Am I there? Is someone hearing me? We're, we're hearing you, doctor. We're okay. hearing you. What they now did as an astute businessman was John G. Rockefeller to quickly move, meet with one of his very good friends called Robert Kanija. A lot of people know look at Robert Kanija. Robert Kanija is another very strong businessman that has quite a lot of money too. So he's, a, he's one of the monopolists of steel industry in America then. So what happened was between John G. Rockefeller and Kanija, they said that what can they do to, to quickly make something from this business? And what happened was they, they employed those scientists to start developing some oil products, some drugs from oil products. And they are telling them that, okay, what we can do from this is that let's go to all these, all these other products, all these roots, all these things, whatever we can, whatever we can see from them, whatever we can see from them, let's replicate it with these petrochemicals. So it's not just going to be the same thing, but it's going to be a replica of what we have seen from the ABAR. After they now do that, they, are, they make quite a lot of products that they can now say, okay, this thing can cure people symptomatically. It's not going to heal you, but it's going to let your symptoms to go down. So all those things are already in place. The only challenge that now happens is there's a challenge of doctors that are practicing all this medicine and using ABAR products and all to cure people. So they have to find a solution to that. They now consulted a man called Flexner. Flexner is not a medical doctor. Flexner is, a, is an educationist that is from Europe, but not originally from America. They consulted him that, okay, this is the plan that I want to do. Medicine, as we know right now, it has not been regulated by anybody. We have to find a way to regulate all these things that put everything together into one. And as a very smart person, he's a German, and because of what has been ongoing in Germany, in Germany then that he knows, what he did was that they created something they called the General Educational Board. That General Educational Board, apart from medicine, he did so many things to education as it is right now, because we get to that later. So what they did is that they are, they are going to aggregate all those medical schools together, and they are going to have a single curriculum that this is what they can practice. Anybody that is not practicing this, you cannot be able to have a medical school. So they have a syllabus. Then in return for that syllabus that they have, what they decide to do is that we are going to fund this school, a philanthropy scheme that they said they are going to fund any school that agrees to what they want to say. They will fund them with $100 million each for them to be able to use to build structure and do every other expensive that they want to do in school. So a lot of medical schools are open to this, but some natural, natural medicine people don't want to budge into this. And because he's a very strong person with the amount of money that he has, and quite a lot of people need money to run their school then, they don't have a choice than to agree to this proposal. And those that don't agree to it, they are not financing them, and they are locking them up. And then I even told them that everybody that comes to the hospital is going to get treatment free. Nobody's going to pay for all this drug. So that is the vet of the new medicine. That brings us to that evidence-based medicine that research has to be done. And don't forget that these people have done research. They know everything that they are doing. They have the research to show that this is the way we arrive at this product and this is what this product is doing. So everybody now gets to align with them. And before you know it, they will identify a particular substance from a leaf product. They will replicate it from this chemical. And they will now say this leaf product does not have any research. Let us shut it off. Meanwhile, they are using it in the in the petrochemical that they have developed. That gave back to all the products that we have right now. If you look at quinine, if you look at artemisine, if you look at they are replicating all this thing from the chemical and they now have. So all the doctors that are going to medical school in that period, nobody gets to know about natural products anymore. Everybody is learning science and evidence-based medicine. Everything is based on you learning how to treat symptoms, symptomatic treatment of disease. It's not going to heal you and you are going to keep coming back. So people are already used to this system, coming back and coming back. Gradually, the philanthropy scheme was removed. People start paying for their treatment. As people start paying for their treatment, it becomes a business, and these people are making a whole lot of money. Up till now, most hospitals make money from
He looks like we're losing his voice. Uh, can you still hear him? Yeah, let me try and see. I think he was locked out again. Yeah, he's back in. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Loud and clear. Okay. So this this fast became a very important business, so that from the from the drug sale alone, these people are making quite a lot of money from the drug sale alone. So it's a business that has been running for them. So that has, has been established about place. Now, doctor, I know. Can you help me share the screen? Okay. Can you share this for me? I want to see a picture of which one? The one that has presentation of the flex now. Okay, let me. Yes, that's. Let me share that screen. Which is another one? So are we there? Why we are waiting for the skin sharing? So that is the best of big pharma. And up to now, we are still facing the problem with pharma. Everything is being regulated with big pharma. That gave birth to it. So, and it is still a problem why a lot of drugs cannot just be prescribed and just you decide that this is what you want to do right now. So not this one. Let's go down the presentation. Wearing a face mask in it. Okay, okay. Okay, yes. just share that one for me. Okay. So why she's at it? Let me just continue. So let Is me that, just continue. Can we see the screen? Yes, you can see the screen, ma. Okay, thank you. Okay, please go down to the to the almost the last slide. Go down. Go down to that slide that has Flexner's picture. Yes. Okay. So go a little bit down to the one to slide number 18. Number 18. Okay. That's 17. Go to slide 18. Okay. And that's it. Go down, I can't view very well. Okay. Yes, this is what I want. So these are the problem. This is the first one. This is Abraham Flex now. He's not a doctor, he's a school teacher. And that is what he has been able to do and establish what we have as modern medicine presently. And now there's a connection between the Robert Barons, Carnegie, Flex now, and what they've been able to do. And they've shot everywhere down. So Big Pharma is now the, the beginning of this whole thing. So drugs are created to treat symptoms and not to treat you holistically. You fix this for now, and another thing crops up. So when it crops up, you come over and come over again. Then in Africa, we have something that we have to be very proud of. I want the slide of reader works. Go to the slide of reader works. I'm done with this slide, the reader works. So we have something we are going to be proud of in Africa. A lot of imagined new diseases are coming up right now. They are imagined disease that even science is not clear about. Apart from the before this COVID-19 came, there have been so many other diseases that have been coming that there are no cure. Cancer is part of them. All these other things is part of them. There's hepatitis B, there's hepatitis C. Recently, C can be cured, but every other thing cannot be cured. So we 
in Africa, is a time for us to actually rise up and look at the things we have. So, for example, now we have Rida here in, 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 in our country. Go to the next slide, please. The next slide. So, we have Rida now in our country, but how did we give birth to Rida? How did Rida come to life? What are the things that Rida is doing differently that we are so amazed about? Let's look at it globally, that in almost 17.7 million of people are dying of cardiovascular disease everywhere in the world. People are dying because even despite the fact that they are using the IT hypertensive, they are doing everything they are supposed to take, people are still dying. And science has not been able to cure any of this. It is right time for us to look at something that is different. How different can we do this? Is there every, every other thing that we can do to make this to work better? Is it the time for us to now start looking into what we have in Africa? Can we just do so much research to make this thing to happen? Yes, of course we can do. And quite a lot of research have been done, but we as doctors, I'm guilty of this too because Nobody taught us of this about thing when we are in medical school. We are all taught of what Flexners and Carnegie has made to happen to the general education board and what we are being taught right now. So I don't know anything about Sena. I don't know anything about Ontario and Bellata. What I know what I've been taught. What I know is are the things that have been taught. And that is what I'm going to recommend, um, recommend to my patients. And then tell them that you pay. Can Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, I think I can hear CM's voice. Okay. Only put your phone in the computer. This is our own order. Put your phone Then we will now pay for it. CM, we are hearing you. you. <laughs> How much was? Hello. So thank you. Uh, okay, go ahead. Okay, so let's go to the next slide. So that's why how the concept of um, antioxidant and free radicals come into board. The concept of free radicals and antioxidant has been for so long that scientists have, have been researching it because there are a lot of possibilities working in that space. The research are not done and just there yet. It's still an ongoing thing. But there are some things we know already. We know that free radicals are a major problem in the body. And how do you get these free radicals? Free radicals are generated from everything we do. Do you sleep or you don't sleep well? Do you exercise and you don't exercise enough? Are there food that you are eating that are not good enough for you? Are you going through any mental stress? Everything that goes on in the body every time generate free radicals. And these free radicals are unstable. And it's a very simple concept. It's just an electron that have a particular number of things. And when something happens to it, and it donates some of it and become unstable, when it becomes unstable, it starts affecting the cells at the cellular level and starts, de and starts destroying them. When it starts destroying them at every point in time, it can lead to quite a lot number of disease. And this can happen everywhere because this happens in the cell. And don't forget, the cell goes all the way to, the, to form the organ. So it's not that this is just going to affect my head or my eyes or my mouth. It's something that can affect everywhere in the body because you have this process ongoing everywhere in the body. So that is what free radicals do the body. Then how do we now cure this issue of free radicals? That's where antioxidants come. Scientists find out, these same scientists, they found out that antioxidants can always donate an electron to make free radicals stable. Once free radicals are unstable and you have antioxidants attached to them, it makes them stable radical. Let's say this is a free radical. Let's this is an antioxidant. And let's say this my phone is a free radical. This becomes unstable because it has undergone, undergone through some stress. And this comes in to donate some electron to it, making this stable at the process. By the time it's stable, it's free. All these cells and these cells are in. But fortunately, this thing can happen everywhere in the body. And that is where oxidative cells and antioxidants come in. The antioxidants help us to reduce the effect of free radicals. And that the oxidative stress problem has been solved. And that is the origin of this reader abarbitals. That is what gives us to reader abarbitals. And that is why we should be very, very glad that we are doing some things in Africa, just like the way ACI is doing. Go down to the next slide, ma'am. Asia has been able to come out with a lot of sciences of their own. 
that we are all very, very happy with. Everybody knows ginseng. Everybody wants to take a multivitamin that has ginseng because Asia has been able to position ginseng in a space that even medical people, they recognize that this is going to be very, very useful to you. And the same thing with what we have in Rida. There's Senna inside this thing, Senna Alata. Senna is something that has been used as a purgative in medical practice for so long. For so long, Senna has been used. They use it in procedures. If you want to go for some radiology procedures and they need to purge you up, they use Senna. If you have not been going to total toilet for a long time, they use Senna. So all these things are things that we have been going through. Can we go to the next, next slide? Hello, seems we've lost Dr. Nifade. Um, let's see. Can someone back him up while he while he is coming? He's coming in. Yeah, he's coming in. So, um, okay. I think it's taking a while for him to get in. Yes. Around. Okay. So while we wait for him, he was talking about the fact that Asia have positioned themselves and they are not apologetic at all. And we have all these, um, we have these uh, um, herbs in Africa and um, it's time for us to, time for Africa to rise, basically. It's time for us not to be like the, to be like the Asians and not apologize for the awesome herbs that we have in Africa. Uh, just a minute. Yeah, I think Dr. Nifad is in. I'm helping with the additions. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody is supposed to be there. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. So, yeah. Let me let me just uh, get that. Yes. Yeah, so, sub sub -Saharan, Saharan Africa is at the center of the new superfoods. You know, we we are okay. Doctor Nifade is back now. Okay. Go go ahead. Okay. Can you see me? I think I'll just do this with my phone. My yes. laptop seems to be messy. Yeah, we can see you. We can see you. Can, can everybody see. see me? Yes, yes, we can see you. Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to do it with my phone now. My laptop is messing up, so I'm going to just do this here. So, yes. so, so they say eyes on Africa. So now that Asia has been able to achieve what they can with the help of the, the ginseng and some other things that they are coming up, a lot of things that Asia has done in this field, so Africa is now at a place where everybody is looking at now because we have everything that it takes. We have everything that we can actually do to, to, to get all the science and all the apps that we have. There are quite a lot of bush here in Africa that a lot of apps are well there that nobody has actually tried to see what are the possibilities with these apps. And some people have sat down and looked at what we have here and they have been making a lot of research in centuries since that our fathers have been using that they have been getting well over the years. People have now come and they've been able to research this in and come out with quite a lot of products that 
we are amazed of. All of us have grown up on these things. We grew up on these things at one point in time. Some of us have used some of these things for malaria, for I'm feeling cold, I'm not having a headache, I'm doing this, I'm doing that all the time. And now it has now been reformed for a product that we have. Can I go to the next slide? Let me get to the next slide, Dr. I know. So, so everybody is now looking at, but, but meanwhile, before this, we get the result for all these things that we are doing. Before the research and everything is well established, we can still continue to use this because they have been used before in the past. So there's no need that, let us wait until maybe Big Pharma comes out and tell us that, okay, we too have done our own research and we are now saying that this thing from Africa can work. Of course it is working. Of course we have a product that we have done toxicology tests on. We know that it is safe, effective and quick action on the body. We have done tests that we know that if you compare this and this, this is the outcome we are going to get. We have our own research that has been done on this already. So we can as well continue to use this thing while they continue doing their own they want to do. Look at the issue of chloroquine and COVID-19 right now. A lot of people are saying don't use COVID chloroquine. A lot of people say use it. There are so many controversies ongoing. But I can tell you, a lot of people are still using it, especially in Africa, because we grew up on chloroquine. We have been using hydroxychloroquine before this whole thing started. So people are using this already, but caution is being taken that, okay, if you have this practice, you cannot take it. But on it, and a lot of people are things that we have right now. Let us continue to use it based on the research that we have in our hand. Reader have been published in the in the pharmacopoeia, the journals. We saw one, the, the journals were shown the, the other time, and we see that this thing has an anti-diabetic and anti-lipidemic property, even anti-hypertensive property. So it can be used for this thing. Can I get the next slide? Let me get the next slide, please. So I've, in the next slide, I've explained the oxidative stress concept. Let's go to the next slide. Okay. Let's go to the, to the, to the reader, the NO. Let me go to the reader and NO. Did I do? Let's go to the reader. So how does reader now do the things that he's doing? How does it work? From what I explained, this is not a Bobo Niche kind of product. This is not a one cure all product. But at the same time, we are marketing these are positioning as this is something that if you have any oxidative stress going on in your body, this is what we can do. We are the testimony of someone that has cancer, but even to me, I look at this cancer thing, I say, can it actually work? But if you go sit and sit down and look at how does cancer happen? Cancer is something that, has at the, that, that starts at the cellular level with all the things happening into the cell. And if you now have something that repairs the oxidative stress that is going on, of course, gradually you are going to start achieving some results. What is the cause of hypertension? Hypertension comes as a result of either you have um, high lipids, high cholesterol, or you have diabetes, or your blood is not performing the way it should be performing, your blood vessel is narrowing, or you have a genetic history of hypertension in your family, or your diet and lack of exercise. All these things, they are the causes of hypertension. And now look at a product that comes that, okay, like the NO levels in RIDA, Reader has an, a nitric oxide level that helps to dilate the vessels. So let's say the vessels are constricted. When I say constricted, that means they are narrowed. Blood is not moving the way they are supposed to be moving in. And you have something that has nitrogen oxide that can dilate and maybe make it move. So that means the blood can now move the way they are going to move. The blood pressure that is elevated before now starts coming down. And your blood level become fine. So that is what Reader do for hypertension. In diabetes, how does it work? Diabetes is something that happens as a result of the cell. The glucose level, the, the insulin is not able to work effectively on the cell. How does that come out here? This cell is not responding to insulin. And it now makes and repair these cells to be able to respond to what they are responding. And it starts to work. So all these are the way it works. And the same thing comes into the, into the eyes. You have cataracts, it goes to the cellular level. You have heart disease, it goes to the cellular level. You have arthritis, it works at the cellular level. And that is why this thing does all the thing it does. And that is what is amazing about Rida, and that's we are celebrating what we have right now. So when people say they don't use any ABA products, let them know that this is the wrong place to be. Because this have been, we have been able to establish all this. Because you want to sell your product, you are saying it because you know.
it looks like the internet is down again. It's, I can hear. Okay. Um, all right. So while while we wait for Dr. Nifade to come back, yeah, he was talking about the fact that if you are, if for people who say they don't use herbal products, they're actually wrong because this is where everything originated. And we've been able to see, you know, from this explanation about the antioxidants and the anti, I mean, nitro, nitric oxide action, that this is what these products do. They, they combat, they, they neutralize the free, free radicals, that is for the antioxidant, and then they have all these other properties, anti-hypertensive, anti-lipidemic, analgesic, anti-inflammatory. So it, 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 it supports the management of every, and almost every health condition that we can encounter. We found that a lot of these conditions that we suffer from, especially the chronic uh, health conditions, they are due to, in one, at one level or the other, excess free radicals. And so this is why RIDA works. Now, um, okay, it's back on. Sorry, I'm just... I'm adding them. Don't worry, just keep talking. Yeah, so this is why Rida, Rida works. So we have the... I mean, I know that personally, yes, uh, by, by one's initial training, like he said, you were not tuned to this, but... You know, when I saw that all this makes scientific sense, and of course, when I learned about free radicals and antioxidants, and I know I researched and saw that the ingredients in RIDA are and have antioxidant properties, it made so much sense to me. And it's going to be difficult for anybody to dis, you know, RIDA herbal bitters and the variants with me. Go on, Dr. Onifade. You need to unmute yourself. Okay. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on mute. It's just this video, this okay. network. The network is uh, pretty don't worry. bad right now. If you can't do video, you can just join up. Okay. So can you hear me now? Can you see me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, we can hear okay. you. Okay. So I think I've been able to establish why we are, we, are, we are so sure of what Rida is doing right now. So let's go to the next slide. Yeah, no, I've done with it. Let's go to the slide of the variants. Okay. Yes. Let's go to the slide of the variants. So as we, as we are on that, the reader works everywhere in the body because it starts from the cellular level. So it is not a global niche, but it's a lifestyle product. It's something that we should position in that space of lifestyle. We are not positioning it in something that one, one product kills all. Either you are ill or you are not ill. Either you are sick or you are not sick. Either you have a medical condition or you don't. What you need to do about this product is that it is a lifestyle drug that you have to keep using to boost your immunity. We have had so many, so many, so many testimonies on COVID-19 and how Rida has helped to boost immunity in this product. And you have to get this thing right. We are not coming here and telling anybody that Rida is curing COVID-19. No. What everybody knows about COVID-19 right now is that if your immunity is strong, your body will be able to fight it. So all you need to do is that keep boosting your immunity with this product, and eventually you get infected with this virus, you are going to fight it with your system. So all you owe your body right now is to boost the immunity. So we, RIDA is our, is our first product and we came out with all other ones. And one of it is the RIDA BAM. This RIDA BAM has been very, very amazing because of the things you do. I have personal testimony with my daughter, with my wife of what the BAM has done. And this is not a, some people ask you that, is your, is your, is your BAM like, like a boniki BAM or something? I tell them that no. This is not an abominable BAM product. This has what some of the things that we have inside the reader, reader about bitters. They are inside here. One of them is the lavender. It has ointment. Yeah, eucalyptus joy. So we have some of these things that we have inside there, and it has been remarkable. Eucalyptus oil is something that has been well re researched, that is well documented in the paper. Eucalyptus oil is something that everybody knows and what they even use for children is from, from part of aiding pain relief and all that. And this, this product has been working for headache. It has been working for flu. It has been working for pain in any part of the body. People have been using it 
to achieve pain relief significantly, even in things that we actually did not know it can do when we first established it. Can we go to the constituent, the next slide of the reader BAM, please? The next slide of the reader BAM. Okay, like I said, it has the Corbido pilosa, it has the variant Kame, it has eucalyptus oil and mentor. So that is what that reader BAM does. And don't forget, because of the ovarian Kame at the Cogliso pilosa that it has, that means it also has the antioxidant properties of the reader ABA bitters. That makes it to be on a class of its own when it comes to the BAM products. You market this not at the class of you are selling a boniki BAM or you are saying no. You are actually giving something that adds value to people in quite a lot of ways more than just the pain relief because of the antioxidant properties that it has. So let's go to the next slide. The next products I'll be talking about. Let's go to the next products, Dr. Aino. Yes, I've, I've, I've talked about that. Let's go to the next products. Yeah, fat burner. Can you see the slide? So the, yeah, the, the reader fat burner, no, I can't see it yet, but I'll go ahead. So the reader fat burner, so the reader fat burner, the good thing about this reader fat burner, apart from the fact that it helps people to lose weight, another amazing thing about this reader fat burner is there are two cholesterol in the body, the good and the bad cholesterol. This reader fat burner, it helps to increase the function of the good cholesterol and it helps to increase the level of those cholesterol in the system. And at the time, it reduces the bad. I'm taking your, your reader fat burner and I've not started losing weight. There are different fats that we have in our body that is not documented. When you check your weighing scale and you climb your weighing scale and you check your BMI and it tells you the range of your, weigh, of your weight, what the weighing scale and the BMI is calculating, which on its own is 40, but it's not a topic I want to go on its own. The way it just tells you that you are fat. It will not tell you that, is this fat collected in your visceral part of the system or is it in your subcutaneous part of the system? For example, someone like me that is slim, I might have a cholesterol and I might not know. And that might make me to start developing hypertension. Why? Because my fat might not be located in my, vis in my subcutaneous fat that makes people to add weight. It might be located in my viscera. In that viscera, nobody will know, nobody will see it. And all of a sudden, I will think I am, I am fine. I will think everything is okay, but I'll start having hypertension, my cholesterol will be high. But when you climb your weighing scale and tell you that you're, you're, you are fine, your BMI is okay. And that is why this fat burner is different. For people that we call lean obese, that you don't know, when you do your body composition analysis, you are going to see that your visceral part, your visceral fat, it is high, while your subcutaneous gland is not good. By the time you start using it and your LDL and ADL level start being regulated, you will start losing weight in a function of time while you keep doing what you are doing. And this thing contains quite a lot of things that, the, the, that does, Dr. Not, go back to the components, please. The components of the fat burner, please. That is this said, yes. Because of the Zingiba officinale, the Croton pendrofulus, the Senna Alata and the Biscoff Samdaphoria that this thing contained was able to do that synergistic effect of regulating those lipid components that we have. And that is why at every point in time, everybody should try to do your body composition, composition analysis, not just you checking your BMI. Because BMI on its own is going to give you a false security that, oh, I am slim. I'm not going to have high cholesterol. But by the time you do your body composition analysis, That is where the of fat burner comes in and you can see what it can do to your body. And apart from that, apart from that, what it's going to do for you that this thing still has an antioxidant property because it has some of the components that we have in the reader barbitals. Please, let's go to the next products, please. Let's, let's go to the next slide, sorry. The next slide, the next slide after this. The next slide. The next slide, okay. So uh, that is that about the reader fat burner. So that is why it is doing what it's doing. So explain to people when they say, how come this is doing what it's doing? Now let's go to the reader cleanser. The recent cleanser is one of the products that really, really amaze me in this, in this our product that we have. The, the reader cleanser, in the introductory, le introductory lecture to this, when I started talking that we need to be afraid and all that, antibiotics is really failing right now. There are a lot of 
resistance to antibiotics that is ongoing right now. Augmenting is starting to see to have in own resistance. Um, aminoglycoside generally are beginning to have their own resistance. And even let's leave antibiotics alone. Let's come to our own anti-malaria. That is one of the problems we are having. Atesunate, quinine, all those things are beginning to, we are going to see resistance to them. And that's the beautiful thing about this reader cleanser. It has an antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral property. And one of the antifungal properties that amazes me is that a lot of people don't know that they have fungal infection. Every time they keep having vaginal discharge all the time, vaginal discharge all the time, and they don't know what is curing this, what is causing this. And that is one of the reasons why the cleanser is very, very important. You have been getting antibiotic resistance to or drug resistance. The cleanser not only makes this thing to work better, it actually regulates and maybe probably cure the infection that we have in your system. So the cleanser is really very powerful. Can I get the next slide of the component of the reader cleanser? Dr. Aino, please. So, so what are the active ingredients in the cleanser? We have the Ontario Umbrella, the Sutras Colosynthesis. Do you remember this, this component that we have? Then we have the Moringa. Everybody knows Moringa. Moringa is quite powerful. powerful. Then we have cinnamon, and we have the Glamourizolus So, Okay, so this can you hear me? Please, please continue on things. And that is why it can cause balance in our system by regulating the good and the bad infection that is ongoing. Because there are some things that we call the normal, the normal, normal organism that are in the body. I'm trying to use a layman word. I don't want to use high falutin medical stuff. There are some organisms in the body that are in the body that they are not going to affect you immediately. But when the balance is more than what it's supposed to be, Something that is supposed to stay in your body and not give you any particular disease will now start manifesting as a disease. For example, they say you have staph aureus, you have this, you have that. It doesn't mean that if they take a culture of your body at any point in time, you are not going to have some of these bacteria in your system. But when your body cannot regulate the way it should be, it starts manifesting. And that's why cleanser is good to maintain this balance at every point in time. And it doesn't start manifesting as a disease when it should not. So that is that about the reader cleanser. And that's why it is good for infection. Thank you. Let's go to the next, the next product. The next product. Yes, I've explained that. Let's go to the, the cleanser. Yes, that's the cleanser. Then the reader fire for men. Let's go to the component. The next slide for the reader fire for men. With these products, we have been able to solve a lot of marital issues because one of the major problems with marriage is always this. Maybe the man is always sad, he has been stressed from work, he cannot do this, he cannot do that, and all. Then we have been able to formulate this particular product that contains everything here from Africa. The Kigelia Africana is a well-researched product that we've been able to find out what to do for erectile dysfunction. We have the microdermis puberula, we have the phobia, the gnotony, and the, the discourse cupinoides. So all these things come together, and what they do is that they increase the blood supply into the organ. And what actually causes erection is when the, there is no good blood supply to that place. The veins are supposed to dilate and makes to flow into that place. And when it starts flowing, the erections, the penis starts getting very turgy. This will not only increase the erection you are having, but increases the quality of that sperm. That's why you see people that are having infertility issues. Because of the infertility issues that they cannot do, they cannot do that. By the time they start using this product, you can see that the quality of the sperm becomes better, the quality of the erection to become better, and they are going to be able to have an active penetration and be able to have children. So that is what the reader fire does. And when people tell you how it works, let them know that it works by increasing the blood supply to the penis and achieving active erection. And that's why you can solve a lot of infertility issues and erectile dysfunction issues with this. Apart from that, it is amazing for prostate care. So, Older people that are always very prone to having this prostate cancer, which is very common right now, by the time you start them on this and the reader beta's together, you can see that the prostate will start getting better. This frequent urination, the pains that come with prostate tissue, everything starts coming down. I've tried this on a couple of patients and I've gotten quite an amazing testimony of what it does. Let's go to the next product, please. So, the next product that experience satisfaction with the fire. So the next product should be the restore, if I'm correct. 
Yes, we always position that this restore is like the fire for men. And we have quite a lot of testimony. Personally, I have quite a lot of for infertility, people that have gotten period, we have seen people that are getting younger in the regular menstruation that was becoming regular, people now that are now well mentally alerted. So those are the things that restore those for you. It increases your mental alertness, increases your hormone, the activity of your hormone. I recently have a patient that she did myomectomy. Myomectomy is when they remove fibroid in the, in the womb. So after removing this fibroid, they saw that she have to remove the whole womb. So all the womb were removed. They were called total hysterectomy. So when they remove the womb, the, oh, the, the uterus is responsible to produce some hormone that make the female feel very active. Of course, when they are removed, she's not going to menstruate anymore. And some of the hormones that are produced by this, by the uterus, is responsible for how your strong, the, the bone of a woman is, how the bone is going to be strong. So when they remove it, the bone, the bone starts getting brittle. That means a woman that will just start falling down and the bone will start breaking. So on a normal fall that you not make someone sick, they start falling sick. So that makes, we call it osteodystrophy right now. Osteomyelitis and all those things follows after that. So I met this woman and she was having that problem. Osteoporosis, thank you. Osteoporosis. So the bone becomes very, very weak and becomes very brittle and breaks easily because the womb has been removed. So I placed this woman on, on, on Restore of Taiwan. She started using this thing. And before you know it, all these things that she cannot do again, she started doing them, started feeling strong. So that is why we are positioning this as something for every woman. Not after menopause alone, postmenopausal, and even when you are still menstruating. It is good for you. It makes you look younger. It makes the breast to be firmer. It makes your bone to be, to be better. And all those hormones that the, the, the body is supposed to produce, they start getting produced at the right amount they are supposed to produce even after your menopause. And we can see the components. The components are here, the bifocitum, we have the proton, prendophilus, we have the ananas, conosmos, and certain all those of that one. And we always position that you use this together with your beta abba bitters when you are using it. This restore is actually very powerful. And there are still so many things that restore is doing that we have not been able to find out. But the more we start using it, the more we start seeing how powerful these products are. So that is that about that, about the Rida Restore. Which other product do we have? We have other products that are not in the medical range. We might get to that later. We have the disinfectants. We have that. Those are not, those are beauty range. They are not really one of the ones that, that is classic to me too, because of what that disinfectant do, do. I have a conversation with someone and we are comparing the disinfectant and what others are doing. And you can see that there's quite a lot of different because of the natural component of this thing. So those are, are the full range that we have right now. There's going to be a part two of the dosage on how we can use this product and other things that's going to come in. So this is just a summary of how our products can do and why all of us should be able to endorse our bar medicine and not just castigate it. I've been in that position of castigating it for a long time, but I've come to realize that I've been so wrong because I can see better now because I've seen the research that has been done. I've seen the result on some people have tried it on, which is quite a lot of people. And I'm happy that these products come at this point in time of COVID that be able to, add, to help people to build immunity and achieve a lot of things. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you for coming in. If there's any question, I will take question now for a few minutes before we call this a close. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Nifade. That was awesome. So please, do we have any questions? Do we have any Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, good, uh, hello. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, the, um, I, I have a question. The other way our question is on the use of the other products. Um, some, sometimes I used to think, is it um, really okay or advisable for one to use radar products alongside other medications or maybe somebody is um, taking a particular medication 
Is it really um, okay to make use of it alongside other um, drugs? Okay. Great question. Dr. Nifade, do you want to answer? Okay, I'm going to answer because I might have to take my leave very soon, but I will answer this before I go. So, uh, yes, it is advisable. And what we tell people is that when you are using other products, you are going to leave two hours, one to two hours before you use with our products. Because we've been able, we, we don't come and tell people that stop using what you are using. Because I tell people, first of all, I'm a medical doctor before getting to know about this. So when you are using a particular drug, we don't tell you to just stop it. Continue your drug. Let them do whatever they want to do. In the long run, when you see that you don't need them again, you might now stop them in the long run. But we don't tell you to stop them immediately. So it is advisable to use them. And that is what we do, and that's what even I do personally. But leave one to two hours before you use either bitters with any other products. Let that space be there because of drug interaction. I hope that's right, clear. Thank you, sir. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. We may excuse Dr. Onifade now. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we have to go now. Thank you. Yes. So, uh, do we have any more questions for, from anybody? In the absence of any more questions... There is a um, question, Dr. Aino. Oh, okay. Then please ask it. Okay. Uh, uh, why, Dr. Aino, thank God that at least uh, the other doctor, is, uh, the, the, the presenter is a doctor, you too, you also a doctor, isn't it? Yeah. But why is it that can't you get doctor's counsel to actually endorse these uh, products? At least with this phenomenal uh, testimonies we're having, on it so that at least the marketing aspect that at least we will, we will be able to market the product very well by at least recommending such products from doctors also i think that's just one question i want to just put across okay. okay thank you very much for that question now um reader is a natural product is a herbal product generally um many doctors feel they they can't uh, recommend it. But one thing that's happening right now is that this, um, our products are unique. Our company is unique in that currently we're go undergoing clinical trials. And I know that by the time the results of those clinical trials come out, we would be, I mean, there, there would be more focus on us, on the product. And I think there'll be more confidence to, you know, for doctors to prescribe that conversation is going on. I know that currently herbal, pre herbal preparations are not required to undergo clinical trials. They're taken as natural, even in the, even in the US, even you know, all over. The, the, the conversation around herbal products is different. Even um, uh, uh, herbal natural products that are you know, coming from say the US and there they say, okay, it, it has not been established. I mean, it, it has not been very, the FDA has not verified this. And probably that's why uh, people cannot say, uh, okay, it's prescribed uh, for this and for that. It's usually used as, uh, prescribed as a, a support. But like I said, when the results of the clinical, ongoing clinical trials come out, I know that there will be a different line of conversation along what you're talking about. By the way, many doctors actually do recommend it. It's just that they may not do it from their, in their prescription sheets. I know a lot of colleagues that take the products, they recommend them, but they would not, for now, not because they are not licensed as prescription medicines. So, but that conversation will take place going forward. I hope this answers your question. Hello. Right. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Thank you. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Do we have any more questions? I think we've overshot our runway. <laughs> you know, if there are no more questions, um, I want to say thank you to everyone for being here for having us here six o'clock is another time please let's get our guests our friends our family members our prospects let's get them in you know so that they 
can listen to our business presentation and be inspired to join us in this course. Thank you very much and God bless. Does CM want to say something? Yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I wanted to say that uh, Dr. Fumi is handling 6 p.m. So it's yeah. going to be on fire. I want to encourage everybody to invite their guests, ensure you are there, ensure your guests are there so that you can make the most of 6 p.m.'s presentation today. Okay? Make sure you are there and there on time. That's all I want to say. I think we can okay, close that. Thank you very much, CM. So thank you all very much. Let's go and send out those invitations to our friends, our family members, and let's pack. Let's, we have 51 participants here. Let's have 100 at 6 p.m. I know that will reflect in our sign-ups. Thank you all. Take care and God bless.